One of the sounds that grabs people quickest once they get into the world of gongs and sound healing is one of these guys, a friction mallet. If you've never heard one before, it sounds like a whale or a deep, deep, scary movie sound, or sometimes it just sounds like a really nice, mellow maintain of just one note, but you probably have heard these before because you're clicking on this video, which is about the differences between them and what makes them unique. A big factor in what makes these unique, what makes these friction mallets work, is the size of your gong. A lot of people have gone through the scenario of saying, wow, that video that Gongs Unlimited posted of Brendan and Trevor playing those friction mallets was just incredible. I'm gonna get a gong and a friction mallet too. And then they do it and it just doesn't work out. There's a couple reasons for that. A lot of time the reason is because they get something like this, a six centimeter. This is a B-Love uh, Flumi, one of the high-end ones. And it's a six centimeter, which is a size that we recommend a lot because it works on a large range of gongs. But not all gongs. There's a difference between a lot of gongs and no gongs. So we'll recommend something like this Flumi and then you'll hear it on something like this, a 30 inch wind gong. Maybe you'll say, wow, boy, do I like the sound of that. But at home, I don't have a 30 inch wind gong. I have a 20 inch wind gong. And then you try it and it just doesn't work. It either sounds like nothing or it sounds a little less complicated, a little less full and rich. It sounds something like this. The truth is that there is some mallets, some friction mallets that work great for small gongs. For example, we have something like this, the E-Gong wand, which is specifically meant for smaller gongs or for making a big gong sound like a smaller gong. It brings out really high tones. Or something like this. This is, what is this? This is a unlimited and it's only two centimeters. This is a three centimeter acoustic. This is a three centimeter Emil Richards Super Rub. Really size is the biggest factor. If you're looking at a gong under 28 inches, which is when friction mallets really start to shine and bring out a lot of great tones out of these gongs, you can still get sounds out of gongs that are smaller than that, but you're going to have to be looking specifically at friction mallets that are four centimeters at the very biggest, and that's for something like a 26. But most of the time you're gonna be looking at something maybe even three or three centimeters or smaller. So it's really important to make sure you're checking the dimensions of friction mallets when you're buying them, because it's gonna have a huge impact on how the gong performs. So I've grabbed four separate gongs, a 30 inch wind gong, which you see here, and then a 20 inch wind gong. So you can compare the same mallets on those and then I grabbed a little closer in comparison, a 22 inch mother Tesla, as well as a 28 inch mother Tesla. So you can see how the same friction mallets work on the same type of gong, but just at a little difference of size, a size where they don't quite work great yet. And then the size when they start to really excel, which like I said, is that 28 range. So that's enough of me talking. Now I'm gonna play, as always, timestamps in the description. Check them out for yourself.
So now you can tell, some friction mallets, perfect for some gongs, some not for others. And the size difference is a very big part of that. There are some of these friction mallets that worked great on smaller gongs. This four centimeter Beloved worked excellent on this year 22 inch mother Tesla, but same size thing on a 20 inch wind gong didn't work as great. And the e-gong wands, for example, since their main purpose is to bring out the high overtones of bigger gongs, they don't really do much on the little gongs because they're all high overtones. There are no high overtones to bring out of a gong. That, that's all that is. Does that make sense? You get what I'm saying, you're smarter than me. But this is not meant to discourage anybody from attempting to buy friction mallets or try friction mallets on different sizes of gongs, just to hopefully give you some realistic expectations of what to expect when you're expecting to buy a small like 20 inch gong and you're also expecting to buy a friction mallet to use with that gong. Hopefully this helped. As always, I'm Brennan from Gongs Unlimited. Have a great day.